Hey guys, John Hammond here, Bandit level 30 from the new Over the Wire levels. So I've got the repository downloaded and cloned and everything uh, after I've logged into the account here. So let's just dive right in. Um, now that it's created, the normal steps that I've been going through in a couple of the other ones were checking out the files that we have currently in the in the repository. They say it's just an empty file, so we'll check out the log messages, see if there were any previous commits, and that's all that we have. So obviously just get showing that. There was nothing that was there before, it's the only commit there ever was. So I figured, okay, well, I'll learn my lesson from the, the last level, check out the branches, and there's nothing else particularly interesting there. Uh, I check out, okay, what are all the references that we've seen so far? Well, we are just, again, at the head of the clone from here. So what I started to do is I started to explore some more of the Git internals, because you'll see that whenever you have a Git repository, you have this .git folder that is created whenever you run git init or clone repository, etc. So if you move into that directory, you've got other interesting things you can look at, a little bit of the internals and kind of more that you can read about is how Git works, the pack files that it uses between zlib compression, it's deflate, etc., blah, 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 uh, and the references. So... That's something that I want to check out, because I checked out this packed refs folder, or file, sorry. So I explored that, and we have the initial commit message that we saw up top, the same SHA-1 hash. But there's something else here. We have a refs tag secret. So I want to check out what that was. I figured, well, I will take a look at this, git show that hash, and it gives me another hash. This is kind of confusing, because you may think, like, well, that's probably just another SHA-1 identifier, but it's not. It is actually the password for the next level. That is going to get us to Bandit 31. So let's keep track of that, make sure that we save it. And I want to show this to you, because I thought it was kind of funny and interesting. Um, I jumped on this bandwagon of looking at these new uh, over-the-wire tutorial, or Bandit levels, sorry, because they released just yesterday. So I was trying to go through them, like, as soon as I could. And this was all around the same time that I created this Discord server uh, for some more, some more communication and, and cool conversations between the people that actually follow and watch me following the stream. And we were looking at Bandit together. And you can see originally, last night, Saturday, July 21st, this has a different commit message than what it has like right now. Like this was Sunday, July 22nd with a different commit message. So I thought that was kind of peculiar because when we were going through this last night, I was talking with this other individual, D. Colt, super cool guy on the uh, on the server, and we kept like poking at this. We kept looking all around, but no matter what we were doing, we just couldn't find it. We were looking at pack files, we were reading up on it, and then this morning, D. Colt, props to him, honestly, he was the one that found what seemed to be the solution, but... Then we kind of realized that, hey, the challenge had changed. Like, from last night, we have the new commit message, we have the new timestamp on it, but he found this cool guide, uh, wildly inaccurate, a hacker's guide to Git, and this had a bunch of really interesting stuff. So I was looking at some more about the tags. I, I ran uh, show ref, I think, or, and that determined, okay, these are the other uh, references that we're looking at here. If, we, if you actually do that, git show hyphen ref, it will give us, okay, here is that same... Shot one hash that we looked at just now in the packed files, in the packed refs. And I thought that was really kind of interesting because once we solved it, we were like, oh, hang on, this was different from last night. So I showed that to him and it says, this looks different because this is the current one, that 179 hash, and then this is the previous stuff that I had looked at the other night when it was 3327 and a completely different time. So from some conversations with people, it looked like the solution to this wasn't even in the original release. Um, so that's kind of awesome to see just kind of the creators of Bandit and Over the Wire guys releasing these challenges and creating new ones like as we are moving through them. That was really, really cool. So, hey, if you aren't on the Discord server, please totally check it out. Link will be in the description. Please come and hang out with us if you like cool CTF hackers, cyber programmer guys. Come join the party. And I want to give a shout out to the people who love me on Patreon. So if you are not on that bandwagon already, I would be super duper grateful if you would join this list of awesome people. Uh, I want to say thank you, and I, I say it at the end of every video because I can't say it enough. Um, it's incredible and really surreal to me 
that you've been willing to kind of jump jump on this this thing with me, attack attack YouTube, and kind of I don't know showcase some cool stuff. So thank you for being willing to go on this journey with me. One dollar on a one dollar a month on Patreon will give you a shout out just like this at the end of every video. Um, Five dollars a month will give you early access to everything I create on YouTube just before it's released. And if you did like this video, please do press that like button. Maybe leave me a comment if you're willing to subscribe and check me out on Patreon, Discord, and my website www.johnhammond.org. Later.